Tonight, we thought we'd do something that we should have done a long, long time ago, and that's send Eunice to a psychiatrist. <laughs> Jensen, send in my next patient, please. Well, you win. Eunice, I'm, I'm really glad you decided to come back. Well, I don't know why I decided to come back. I mean... Last week, I told you I wasn't gonna come back, and I shouldn't have come back, but I did come back, and here I am, and I just don't know why. I mean, after all, what can you do for me? <laughs> well, what would you like me to do? There you go again, answering a question with a question. <laughs> I mean, I don't need to pay good money for that, you know. This is a county service, Eunice. You're not being charged. <laughs> Gasoline money getting here and back, isn't there? Huh? 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 And my time is worth something, isn't it? Besides, we both know what the problem is. How would you define the problem? I have told you 355 times already. All right. I do everything for everybody, and everybody treats me like dirt. <laughs> My husband, I gave up my whole life for him, and then one day he just ups and leaves me without so much as a turn green or kiss my foot. <laughs> Even two miserable brats. <laughs> and, and then my mama moves in on me, and she's making my life absolutely unbearable. And if people hadn't kept interfering with my life, I could have had me a big career. Now, 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 you know what we say about could have and should have. Could've and should've are words we don't use. They only depress us and give us the blues. Right. <laughs> now, we had a little plan, didn't we? You were going to take that first little step on the road to independence and get yourself a job. All right, now, how many job interviews did you go on this well, week? Well, I went to that uppity insurance company and... and that was last week. <sighs> Can you type? Can you take shorthand? Lord, as if the whole world depended on that. Besides, I don't belong in an office. Anyhow, I belong in show business. Eunice, did you go on any job interviews last week? No. Lord, sometimes you, you talk just like Mama. She gets me so nervous I can't even think. Just last night, she got my goat again. Now, you know, you don't have to react, Eunice. Do you remember that little poem we learned? When, when confronted, confronted with, with a foe, foe Bless, Bless him, him, praise, praise him, him, let him go. go. I know, I know. And I tried doing that. I did that a couple of times earlier this week and at work, but then, I don't know. Last night, we was just sitting there, you know, in the dining room and everything, and she looked up. She looked up at the chandelier, and she says, Oh, my, look at that big clump of cobwebs up there. Well, I just started to have one of my hissy fits. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I just went crackers and I wound up breaking every single damn light bulb in the whole house. <laughs> I couldn't help it. And I, I just, I don't like these funny moods I'm getting into. Well, well all right, let, let's examine these moods. Let's put them on the table and see if they bounce. I don't want to put my moods on a table and see if they bounce. I know what my problem is. It's my mother. All right. All right, let's examine that. Did you bring her along like I suggested? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> it wasn't easy. She's out there in the waiting room now. That's, that's wonderful. Let's just bring her in. All right, now listen. Y you just tell her to lay off of me and I'd be fine, all right? Okay, now you, you just tell that old witch that. <laughs> Mama! Come on in, dear. Um... Mama, this here's Dr. Tate. Dr. Tate, this is my mama, Miss Harper. Hey, I'm really happy to see you. Thank you very much, Dr. Tate. Eunice just insisted that I come along on this little visit today. I certainly don't want to butt in on her time with you. Lord knows she needs all the help she can get. <laughs> I know where you're coming from, Mrs. Harper. 
But just the same, I'm really happy that you decided to join our little rap session today. Well, I ain't gonna have to lie down on the sofa or nothing, am I? Oh, no, no, we're, we're into sitting in this office. Come on. Just make yourself comfortable. Well, I know it's really none of my business. No, no, I... it is your business. I mean, you two share the same house. You occupy the same vibe space, so to speak. Oh, well, now, now that's not true. I sleep in a completely different room. I understand that. What, what I'm saying is that two women who live under the same roof, it, well, that situation is just bound to bring on tensions and anxieties. Your daughter's hang-ups become your hang-ups and vice versa. Now, you understand what he's saying, Mama, don't you? I understand that I'm being made the heavy again when you're the one that broke every single light bulb in the house. Now, <laughs> let's just forget about the light bulbs, okay? I want to start from square one. Oh. Everything's clear. Let's just... <clears throat> that's right. We're going to relax now, okay? <laughs> Just close your eyes and start out by taking a deep breath. I don't think we got very much time left on that parking meter. We have plenty of time. I put a dime in the meter. You put a dime in for a nickel's worth of parking. Can you beat that? I didn't have a nickel, all right. Well, that's typical. You put in twice the amount of money well, as is necessary. I'm getting angry. <laughs> I'm feeling anger here because I just made a suggestion not 30 seconds ago and both of you have chosen to ignore it completely. There. The anger's gone. Now see how easily I dealt with that? Now let's relax. <laughs> Close your eyes. Let's all become aware of our toes. <laughs> really feel your toes. Now, just let a golden light ignite in your toes. It's a good feeling. And you want to feel it all over, so it starts to move. It goes up your legs. Up your thighs, up your hips. What in the hell is he talking about? After a minute, you'll find out. Ladies, just let me get the golden light up to your heads. Just let him get the golden light up to our heads. Now, just let's relax. Mrs. Harper, close your eyes. All right, but you stay right over there. I don't want no funny business. <laughs> Golden light is in your chest. <sighs> it's moving up your neck. It's in your head. You're floating on a cloud. Now open your eyes. See? Our tensions are gone. The lines of communication are freeing and opening up. And we're in the present. We don't care about the past. What is it we care about here? I don't know what you're driving at. Mama, he means we care about today. That's right, Eunice. You're tuning in. We care about the here and now. Uh -huh. So since we do care about the here and now, let's just get all those little unsaid resentments out of the way. Let's just say to them, out, out, out. Fooey on Huey. Fooey on Huey. <laughs> Is this what you've been coming down here for to get a little golden light up in your head and to play these stupid games? <laughs> are just like a jackass, aren't you? You dig your heels in about every new Ladies, idea you... sit down. <laughs> now, we're gonna play a little game. We're just gonna be real upfront and say exactly what it is that we want out of life. Doesn't that sound like fun? All right now, <laughs> you go first, Eunice. What I want out of life. I want to be treated like an adult. I want to get up in the morning when I want to get up. I want to drive my car the way I want to drive my car without somebody always saying to me, turn left, turn right, look out. I want to walk into my own kitchen without having somebody talk to me about the grease balls under the icebox. <laughs> and I would 
like some encouragement about having a career in show business. If you had wanted a career in show business, don't you think you'd have stayed in Lula Bell's tap dance class for more than a week when you were 10? If you and Lula Bell would have stopped ridiculing me every time I did a time step, I'd be giving Mitzi Gaynor a run for her money today. <laughs> you know, nobody really cares about Lula Bell's tap class or Mitzi Gaynor anymore. <laughs> Harper, it's your turn. What do you want out of life? In the here and now, please. I'm an old woman with a few short years left. <laughs> I would like my daughter to accept my household hints with a little good grace and without snapping my head off. I am only trying to help and make that two before shack of hers we live in fit for human beings. <laughs> and I would like to watch the wrestling reruns on TV at 6.30 instead of them damn tattletales. And I would like to have a daughter who treats me with a little bit of respect instead of dragging the family name through the mud by going crazy. <laughs> Is that all you think about my problem? Dragging your stupid name through the mud? Don't you care that your little baby daughter is on the verge of a nervous breakdown? Why not let nothing has Just like when I was in kindergarten, I did Did you forget about kindergarten? If you two don't release each other from this stranglehold you've got on one another, you, Eunice, are going to continue to have fits and keep breaking things, and you, Mrs. Harper, are going to curdle up into a sour little ball. And then you both... You both are just going to dry up and blow away. Oh, well, I knew it would come to this. Thank you very much, Missy. I have taken ingratitude, disrespect, abuse, and backtalk from you for your entire life. And I'll be darned if I have to take it from some damn sassy faced catty quack. Fully on Yui! You see? Well, she's no picnic. <laughs> but neither are you, Eunice. Now, wait just a minute. She's the reason I keep having all these fits. She's the reason I can't Sit call. on it. Now, listen. I have a news flash for you. It's not that old bag out there that you're having trouble with. It's Eunice. You are furious with Eunice because Eunice never finished anything that she started. It's time for you to take charge of your own life, Eunice. I could. I could if she'd just allow me to breathe once in a while, but Mama just won't. forget Mama. We don't care what Mama don't allow. We're going to take charge of our own life anyhow. <laughs> Work on your own self-esteem, all right? Listen, listen. Hey, I'm okay. Hey, I like me. What? You say it. Hey, I'm okay. Hey, I like me. I can't say that. Because I'm not okay. I never have liked me. Just say it. Say, I'm okay. Say it, and it'll be true, I promise you, Eunice. I'm okay. Oh, louder. Come on. Say it like you really mean it. I'm okay. Say it again. I'm okay. I'm okay, and you're 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 okay, and Mama's okay. I'm okay, and you're okay, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Say it. I'm okay, and you're okay, and Mama's okay. Right on, Eunice. Now, your life will take on a golden hue just as soon as you take that first little step to the road to independence and go to that employment agency and get yourself a job. I will. I will. I will. I will. It's just a little tiny step, Eunice, but only you can do it. Hey, I like you, and I think you're okay, and I know you can do it. Oh, hey. 
I like me too, and I am okay. Am I supposed to sit out here all day like a can of trash? Okay. Uh, I'm coming, Mama. I just gotta get my purse and my coat. I'm, I'm leaving right now, dear. There's probably a ticket on the car. Well, if there is, we just won't worry about it. I'll, I'll pay for it. It'll be all right. You pay for it with what? That ex-husband of yours left you with so little you can barely afford a can of beans. It's all right, Mama. I'll get by because, hey, I'm okay and you're, you're okay. Well, you sound like you're about one step away from the booby hatch. Don't you lay off of me for five minutes. I feel another fit coming on. Hey, hey, hey. It'll pass, it'll pass, it'll pass, it'll pass. I'm okay, I am okay. Uh, Mama, uh, before we go home, uh, we're gonna stop by the Ajax Employment Agency because, hey, I'm gonna get me a job. Well, hey, I'll believe that the day I see it, the day you actually follow through with anything. You'll never amount to nothing. When confronted with a foe, bless her, praise her, and let her go. 